everybody, welcome back to the Cousin Power Podcast. Now, welcome back is the fucking first one. <laughs> oh yeah, welcome to our first one of many. Hopefully many. Hopefully many, where we discuss loads of random shit. Yeah, basically one day I ran up to my friend and said, Hey, there's a Dora movie coming out, do you want to rant about it? And then I started doing podcasts again. Um, well, 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 um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we have different topics this time, though. Yeah, um, main topic so, today will be musical experiences. Musically? Not musical experiences. We're never fucking talking about musically again. It's dead. <laughs> musical experiences. Exactly. Awkward. So, you know, Peter Piper and all. Anyway, so. Why <laughs> so, <I'm> so good? <laughs> what do you mean by musical experiences? Basically, songs that are nothing like anything else. No, no, I'll, try oh! I'll try the delivery of that again. Basically, songs that are. I guess Will we start the with the poopy song? Hopping up to. <laughs> I watched the music video. She's a, she's uh terrifying, basically. Yeah, she is. She's I don't like her. Fuck you, Poppy. Yeah, you should see her like actual it. her videos. That Jesus Christ. There's a video called "I'm Poppy" where she's um just saying "Hi, Poppy" for ten minutes. <laughs> I'm Poppy, not Hi, Poppy. Never mind. <laughs> I should edit it in the podcast, so I'm going to put that in the top right corner, the I'm Poppy video. Just there for the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. She's really, really cheap. I really don't like her. I don't... She's just... There. How are these people making money off YouTube? Why? Anyway, so the song itself, um, I thought was very interesting. I've never heard anything like it. The what? X. X? By Daft Punk. No, by Poppy. That's the song. Oh, I get it. The poopy song. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, I've never heard anything like it either. I actually don't like the song. I thought it was interesting. Experimental, anyway. Definitely. I don't, I don't like the song or the music video because I can give you a well done good reason. Um, it's by... It's Poppy. Poppy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Poppy. When I, I thought, when I um, listened to it first, I thought it was Poopy, and I was <laughs> thinking Poop at the time. <laughs> I was like, I was like, this is going great. I'm listening to Poopy while I'm having a poop. Who's your favorite pop star? Poopy, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Actually, as a question, who is your favorite pop star? I actually don't know now. Um, I'm a Shakira fan, definitely. Right. Ah, uh, cool. Right. Shakira, Shakira. It's time to put this secret on the internet. I have a Shakira pillow. It's on the internet now. It's been revealed. <laughs> I'll, throw, I'll throw a picture of it in the corner there. There it is. The it's only... real. <laughs> the only pillows I have are Harry Potter. I have a weird pillow collection. I have a Spanish Penguins of Madagascar pillow, and I have no fucking clue where it came from. <laughs> I love, if you remember the time when we were at Flamingoland and you won that giant minion? I think I still have that. I don't know where it is, but I definitely still have it. I'll throw it out in the corner as well. Yeah. I, I love that, Teddy. Anyway, remember when this was about musical experiences? Oh, yeah, yeah. it is. <laughs> so, um, All right, we'll move on to Touch, though, by Daft Punk. That was a fairly interesting song, anyway. Yeah, I want to move on to Queen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody. All you have to say is Bohemian Rhapsody. You don't say anything else. It's a fucking masterpiece. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. That's my favorite part. I was just about to ask you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Um, and Roger is my favorite because Roger is the most innocent little child. Come on, Freddie well, Mercury is the best. Come on, you can't doubt that. Who? Freddie Mercury. Well, so yeah, Freddie Mercury is pretty awesome, but he had AIDS. Jesus Christ! <laughs> That's not a reason to not like someone. No, but like, you like Freddie you Mercury? Just, no, yeah, they. You know, you know, a bit slutty. <laughs> Do you like Freddie Mercury? No, he is it. <laughs> I, I genuinely love him. I love all, I love the whole band. Yeah, um... He was, a bril- he was a brilliant performer. He was amazing. And he had the best teeth. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> and then... What? But I love, you know, the song, Another One, but this... Yeah, one. so good. Another one. <laughs> I think somebody did a remix of that with a Daft Punk song. They went together so well. If I can find it, I'll, I'll throw it on there. If I can find it for a few seconds. Yeah, another song we can discuss. Actually, I can't remember what the song was called. Um, but it was some Daft Punk, punk song, and um, I listened to it before the podcast. All right, that's um, that's Touch. That what is so that? good. Touch. Oh, um, Touch. Yeah. It's so good. The first time that's I heard that, song. I had the album. It was from. What was the name of it? Oh, uh, okay, yeah. Random Access Memories is the name of the it's album. It's like... Oh, that's such a good album. It seems like it would be such a good song if you, like, had it blasting loud. Yeah. Definitely. Like, at a concert. Trippy is Yeah. Like, fairly trippy. Do you know what I'm... So here's another topic I want to discuss, okay? The Ghostbusters movie. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Which one? So... The girl Ghostbusters, no, yes or we, no? We don't talk about and it. Oh, I fuck the girls! <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get this out of the way. People, you can't say anything about the Ghostbusters movie. If you didn't like the movie, if you didn't like the movie, you're sexist. If you like the movie, then you're betraying all Ghostbusters fans. The girls don't make a difference. The movie was fucking awful. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know if that recorded or not. Um, anyway. I actually have a poster of that movie. I'm gonna fucking tear it down. The only thing that made the girls Ghostbusters movie good is Chris Hemsworth. Like, the the effects were good. The effects weren't that bad. Oh yeah, the effects weren't bad either. But the original two are just, you can't beat them. Especially the original original. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, the first one was the best out of all of them. They just got worse and worse. Yeah. Um. And then we had um. But yeah, and then the real they also have pretty damn good music in it. Like sometimes oh, I'll yeah. be just like sitting down, I might be shitting or eating or something, and I just start going, Ghostbusters. Yeah. <laughs> like you know that song just like gets stuck in your head wherever you are. You're never gonna ever forget that song. Yeah. Actually, if you haven't seen the movie, well, that song still be good. Like, um, if Ghostbusters wasn't a movie and Ray Parker Jr. just released that song, would it still be popular? I'd say it would be. It's so good. Yeah, I'd say it'd still be good. I don't think it would be as good because you wouldn't know, like, who the Ghostbusters are. Yeah, make no sense. But I still think it'd be good. But when I, but I still don't know what like, the fucking... I sing Ghostbusters, I see the Ghostbusters, so like, I still don't know what head. I still don't know what the fucking YMCA is, so it doesn't fucking matter. What? Uh, I have a poster of the female Ghostbusters. I'm editing a little video here of me ripping oh, it off the Dumbledore. wall. Never mind, sorry. My phone keeps like just randomly going Dumbledore while you're talking. Okay. <laughs> okay, keep going. Happens to me every day. Anyway, I have a poster of the female okay. Ghostbusters. I'm gonna rip it off the fucking wall. I don't know why I have yeah. it. Wait, one, wait, one second. I want to podcast a little lady. Thank you. Hello My father just walked in the door. Lovely. Yeah, cool, isn't it? Alright, yeah. yeah, keep going. Alright, so, as I was trying to say about five times now, I have a poster of the female Ghostbusters. Should I rip it off the wall? Yes. I'll, I'll do it after the podcast. I'll edit the video in here of it happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, oh, shit, I just realised it's really high up. Oh, fuck. Um... No, I'm still fucking doing it. Yeah! <laughs> Another subject I need to talk about. Right. 
Mario or Luigi? <laughs> Probably not. Luigi, definitely. Yeah. Mario's too, like, I don't know. He's too Italian. <laughs> too Italian. I mean, don't get me don't get me wrong. We all love Mario. He's half my childhood. But Luigi is. Well, so Luigi better. just goes Luigi, which is cool. Yes. Yes. Oh shit. And while we're on the subject, should we do Peach and Daisy as well while we're here? Yeah. Mm. So I had written down um. Is Peach worth it? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> when I wrote that down, I got a really, really bad saying in my head, and I was like, no. <laughs> Peach isn't worth it because she hasn't. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, Peach or Daisy, who's better? I don't like. Oh, oh. Mmm. I'm not tired, they're both pretty shit. She, that, I, it depends on the game, really. I don't usually play mm -hmm. as Daisy. Except for Smash Brothers, I don't play as Daisy at all. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I normally, in Super Smash Bros, I'd normally play as Zelda. Yeah, now that she's um, way better in the new one, because she looks cooler now, so. Mm -hmm. yeah. Who else do I like playing as in Super Just Smash put a, Bros? I'll put a picture of Zelda from... The older games and newer games side by side. I'll just add it on here. Show you how cool uh, she looks. Mm, she looks pretty dope. Yeah, damn right. Same with Link as well. Yeah, I've never used that word. I don't like the word dope, do you? I actually think it's a, a drug metaphor. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Please don't. Mm. I think it sounds kind of dopey. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Me laughing. My friends say whenever I make a joke or something, they go, Izzy, the joke gets ruined if you laugh at your own jokes. Yeah, it does actually. <laughs> I can't help it, I'm just too funny. You guys have to edit all this shit out now, right? What do you mean? I'd edit all this shit out. I'd edit this down a bit. Christ. Why? This just fell off the fucking rail. This has no plot anymore. <laughs> well, what did you expect? I don't know what to call this anymore. What do I call this? Cousin Power! Yeah, fuck it, I'll do. <laughs> Speaking of, have I told you about my, um, my four foot Stone Cold Steve Austin? What? No. Okay, wrestler, um, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I have a four foot statue of him in my room. Awesome. Yeah, I'll post. I'll put a picture of it up here now. I'll edit it in there. Yeah, that's so awesome. Um, let's talk about wrestling. Oh yeah. How do um, you feel about it? And Christ, where to fucking begin? <laughs> I'm a big fan anyway. I'll say that much. Well, I hit my head just doing my intro at your house. Yeah, so. that was funny. We one day we were born, <laughs> we started doing wrestling entrances, and is a fucking whacked ourselves. Yeah, me. basically, um, our our bed in the spare room is way too fucking close to the roof. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was jumping on it, like, doing my thing, and I was looking really cool. And then I bumped my head, and I ran down to my mom, and, and I was like, died. Mom, I got a lump on my head! <laughs> yeah. Um, and then... Yeah. Yeah. Actually, that's all that happened. Oh, and then remember... <laughs> Ben's wrestling name was Paddy Irish, was that? I think so. I had this idea, Paddy right? Irish? But it, we made him be Paddy Irish, and yeah. then he got really upset because it came to we me, made him be one Paddy day in school. I was just in school one day, right? I was trying to think of um, wrestling gimmicks for you and Ben. The one thing that came to mind was Ben Hurst, uh, this Roman soldier who ran in and always shout Ben the whole time. I thought it was a really good idea. I really want to do it one day. Yeah! You should hide in a horse, too. Yeah, he comes in a little horse. He's a fucking mighty <laughs> pony between his legs. Mm. Yeah. Another subject. I'm just picking random shit, okay? Yeah, this has um, no... This has no fun How anymore. do you feel about the Teletubbies? Uh, you know what? 
I don't even tell you. I'm just going to edit in a little video right here, and then when you watch this podcast back, you'll know how I feel. <laughs> okay. Two. Three. So, how do you feel? Like, if you were to pick Coca Cola or cocaine, which one would you pick? I'm drinking Coke right now, actually. So. <laughs> I mean, too. Oh, well, actually, oh. not right now, but I just had some before. Uh, the cheek. Yeah, hunger. Mm. Yeah. Um. How do you feel about what are they called? Nunchucks. Yeah, Is that it. how you say it? I can't use it. I'm shit at them. I've tried. I'm really bad at them. <laughs> um, I haven't tried, but I yeah. shall in the future. I used to have the Ninja Turtles pair when I was younger. Class, yeah. Yeah. I think we all went through a bit of an like a bit of an obsession with the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. And here comes Michael Bay to Who fuck was them my up. favorite? Michelangelo, wasn't it? He was everyone's favorite, sure. The orange guy, you know the one yes. with the orange band? Yes. My favorite one was the one with the band around his head. <laughs> oh my god, me too! Oh, really? Whoa! We have so much in common! Wow! wow. But I really like the rat turtle as well. The rat turtle? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we call our friend, what do we call her? I can't remember. Oh, oh yeah, a snurtle! Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. You're fine. Okay. We call her a snurdle because she's so slow. Okay. And so, so she's a snail crossing a turtle because <laughs> she's so freaking slow. Lovely. Another question as well. What's your favorite meme? Completely random question. Favorite meme? Yes. There's a favorite funny picture on the internet. Every single Irish dancing one. Mm -hmm. I have There's two. There's one that's like, when you go look at your heels. I have two favorite memes. Um, anyone who knows me at school knows what they are. First one is that one of Lucina, where it just says, "Ah, oh, so cute" in the corner. Then the second one is the <laughs> one of um John Cena in a hospital bed, and then there's another John Cena holding his hand. Underneath it says, "Injured Cena gets a make a wish visit from his himself." I love it so much. I have wow, beside I have it beside was... my bed. It's beside my bed on the wall. That's not even a joke. It actually is. How long has that been there? <laughs> uh, a while now. A few, a few weeks, I'd say. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Mm. Ben thinks that memes are going to get banned. What do you think? Uh, yeah, the EU are passing a thing called Article 13, which, um, long story short, basically means you can't use other people's shit on the internet, so memes could be banned, Why? but I don't think it's going to happen. No, it's, it's not gonna happen. I don't think. Oh, no, no, I didn't either. Hmm. I don't believe him anyway. He lies all the time. You know him. I don't think it's gonna happen. Mm -mm. It's a little chance, but it's pretty low. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Um. So, I have. You're probably getting sick of me by now, but um, how do you feel? About McDonald's versus KFC. All my friends mm. say that they rather KFC, but I'm like, mm, no, no, McDonald's. I, I mean, I like them both, but I'd pick McDonald's over them. Same. Like, you get toys. You get toys. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, what were the best McDonald's toys, no actually? Ends. What's the best McDonald's toy? This is a good fucking tangent now. Here we go. The Furby ones. Oh, they, yeah, they were so good. The little, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, little Furby Connects. The Kitchen yep. Teddies, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a good ones were there. The, oh, Christ. Um, they had Mario 
ones out actually. Yeah, the Mario ones. Oh, the Angry Bird ones. ones. Yeah, the, um, they were pretty good. I mean, they don't hold up to the real thing, but they're still really good. Mm. Mm. Um, what else was there? I think they're doing Lego Movie now, but they're pretty good actually. They're little um Lego Movie head characters of yeah. Try it again. They're the heads of the Lego Movie oh, characters, but you open them up yeah. and they're okay, yeah, they're they're the best. They're cool. Mm. Fucking love them. Yeah. Um. Oh shit! I forgot. Hmm. Um, oh no! There was an Inspector Gadget yeah. one. There was like twelve um toys. When you got them all, they combined to make a massive model of Inspector Gadget. Awesome. Yeah, it's a really old one though. This oh. was before my time. Yeah, they've got their toys were like so good, and now they've got like really bad. Yeah, it's like they're doing Teen Titans Go next. Ugh. Yeah. I remember actually this was an act this wasn't long ago. If anybody knows me, they know I'm a dit said. And um we were in McDonald's, me and my friend, and um we were leaving and she was like, oh, I'm just gonna get a balloon. Just for like you know, she wanted a just balloon. Balloons are giggles. great. We went into Eason's and there's like two aisles and they're literally like not even a foot away from each other. And she gave me the balloon. I <laughs> had the I walked. No, she gave me the stick of the balloon, and she was holding the balloon. Don't know why we took it apart. And I had to walk from just one end to the other end, like it was only a foot. And when I got to the end, like it was literally only ten seconds. My friend was like, "Izzy, where's the stick?" And I was like, "Oh, I don't know." And she, I gave it to you, and I was like, "Did you?" And she was like, "Yeah." And I was like, "Oh yeah, you did." And she was like, "Where is it?" And I was like, "I don't know. I must have dropped it." We went around the whole shop. It wasn't anywhere. Like, the whole shop, and it was literally, it was literally in my hands for like 10 seconds. Somehow you lost a stick. <laughs> I don't know how I did it. Yeah. Right. Anyway, um, I think I know how we should end this podcast off. Super Cousins! Actually, no, I had one more thing to, um, ask. Since I'm insane... We should review every fucking movie we've seen this year. Because I hate myself. Mm. Yes. Okay, right. Um, What was the first movie? I think it was like Mary Poppins 2 was the first movie I saw this year. Oh yeah, I saw that one too. That yeah. was brilliant. I loved it. It, was the, it, wasn't even, it was the exact same as the first one. It was not bad yes. at all. It wasn't bad at yes. all. But it was the same as the first one. 10 out of 10 for me. It was made well, I'll give it that, but... We've seen it all before, so... Yeah. Mm. I won't be giving ratings, I'll just say random shit about the movies. Right, next I saw... Bumblebee, I think. Oh, I saw... If anybody knows me, I want to be... To be to watch The Lord of the Rings for ages now. And read the books. So my friend finally ran over The Lord of the Rings DVD. I saw Lord of the Rings one. Oh my god, it was amazing. Legolas? Mm. Yes. Mm. It was great. I haven't seen it myself, so, yeah. You have to, you have to just do it for Legolas. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, now uh, I saw Bumble... I'll send you a picture after of me and him <laughs> and my child. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I saw Bumblebee next, which is very good. The action was shite, everything else was fucking amazing. It was like E.T. I big... didn't see it. Like E.T. with a big fucking robot. It was great. It's adorable. <laughs> so good. Um, awesome. Then... then I saw Stan and Ollie. Christ, that was um really good, Stan Nolly. Story about um comedians. Oh, lo- I saw, I saw Captain Marvel. I that was really good. I haven't seen it yet, but I expected it to be so bad. Yeah, I've heard bad reviews about it, but yeah, I'd always be mm. good shit reviews though. I actually liked it, but I expected it to be so bad because all the girl superheroes like are so shit. Yeah. Except for Harley Quinn, guys. Except for Harley Quinn. She's not a fucking super. <laughs> She's a villain. Or anti hero. <laughs> well, um, yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, Captain Marvel no. and Harley Quinn. On some tension about Stan and Ollie, I didn't get to finish about it. Carry on. Right. But that was great. That was a story about um Laurel and Hardy. Um, really old comedians. Great movie though. Go see it. Great. Mm. Also, um, mm. John, John C. Riley, who voices Wreck-It Ralph, is playing Hardy, and all I could just hear, I just heard Wreck-It Ralph out of him. It was brilliant. 
You could just hear Wreck-It Ralph's voice the whole time instead of Hardy. Very awesome. Good. I um, um this isn't like this isn't a movie, but have you heard of the Umbrella Academy? No, I've not. It's so good, it's on Netflix, but I don't have Netflix, so I have to watch it at my like friend's house. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm sure you heard of Stranger Things. Yeah, uh, here we go. Time to ruin my credit. I did not like Stranger Things. I'm gonna have no friends really? by it. Well, wait, I didn't like. I have to admit, I didn't I like. I hated the one. first few episodes, but the rest of it, I like. I love. Yeah, I was the, I was the opposite. The first few, of, like episode two, is I think like one and three were the best episodes, and then just fell down after that. And then when season mm. one finished, I said, "Yeah, I'm done. Not watching any more of this." Mm. I love it. Dustin is so good in it. Yeah, the only good character. Definitely. He's so funny. I love Dustin and Steve together. Mm. They're so funny. Yeah. Did you see the last episode of the second series? I didn't watch the second one because I didn't like the first one, so didn't encourage me to okay. watch it again. But I'm not gonna like spoil it for anyone. I but it's like the it best me. ending. Like, it's so good. Mm. And Steve mm. and Dustin are oh, they're so funny. Are in a relationship. I know. Like, not in a gay way, like in a brother way. <laughs> um. Because, like, Steve's like yeah. 18 and he's like 14 or 13. Hmm. I don't know. Hmm. If I could recommend you a show that's on Netflix, though, it would have to be Death Note. It's so good. But because Netflix are absolute pricks, they took the English version off. So, if you don't mind subtitles, watch it. It's so good. Oh, uh, I've never heard of that. Oh, it's so good. Um. The music is great. I'm just gonna play Elle's theme in the background when this is done editing. I'll throw it in there. Mm. Um. What else? Actually, do I, I, have watch? This, I have this video um, of my of uh, my friend James, right? Of him dancing in the marshmallow mask. So I'm gonna put music from Death Note in with him dancing. It'll be brilliant. I'm just gonna throw that right here, right now. Is that the James I know? Yes, it is. I'll just talk in the background here for a while. I'll just keep it here for the rest of the video. I love the videos that you did of the Luigi board. Yeah, that's the one. Oh, yeah. That's the that's the best video. I've actually showed like every one of my friends that video. I'm like, look, these the this, this is my friends. Yeah, he's cool, isn't he? He's one of the cool kids. <laughs> I have no friends. Help me. Anyway, um. <laughs> That's why I have cousins. Yes, uh, one of the movies I see this year, I saw Escape Room. Um, really fucking good. Now, it's advertised as a horror movie. It's not a horror movie. It's really good, though. An Escape Room? Yeah, it's advertised as a horror movie, but it's not a horror. It's so good. It's more of a thriller kind of thing, but oh, I'll go see Did it. Did you go? Yeah, it's really... No, it's a movie. Oh! Oh, okay. Yeah, oh god, hands. Cool. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I did a, a Harry Potter escape room and like a Harry Potter convention, but it wasn't that mm, good. Nice. Because it wasn't like a proper convention, but I thought it was gonna be a proper convention. Oh, you wanna know about fucking proper convention? You wanna know about fucking proper conventions? Because about the time my friend said we're going to Comic Con, and we're all going in costume. So I'm like, great. So I go as Deadpool and I roll up and no one's in costume. So this fucking prick rolls up as Deadpool. <laughs> and then we we get there and it's a fucking hall selling Funko Pops. <laughs> That's it. Wait. Buddy, have you ever uploaded that video of our horror movie thing? Uh, no, I have not. It's, uh, you I, should. Honestly, you have to. Honestly, I think it should be scripted again. There's so much potential there if we just um did it again. Yeah, uh, that was so good. You know what, for the crack, I'll upload it. I'll upload it. Yeah, just do. It's so good. So everybody listening to this podcast, go look out for it. <laughs> it's like the new big blockbuster movie. Ghostface's House of Horror. That, yeah, fuck it, that's what I'm calling it. Done. Guess what happened last night? You hit puberty. Go on, what happens? 
So I was in my room and I was sitting down on my floor. I don't know. I put like just clothes away and stuff. I was in my room for like wait, 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 wait. You were sitting down on your floor. Whoa. If anybody knows I have a gigantic dog and a hamster. And my room was open. <laughs> the dog had lunch and it was the hamster. So I was in here. And then the next thing, I see my hamster run across the ground out of its cage. And I was like, hmm, that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> so I was like, ma'am, can you come close the door? Because if I ran to the door, the hamster would have run out. Because, like, I was at the bottom of the bedroom and he was at the top. Mm. And I was so scared that my dog would come in and eat it. Luckily, she <laughs> didn't. But then we had to catch the hamster. So we had to lure him into his ball with loads of yoga drops and stuff because we couldn't pick him up because he was, like, too excited. Um, but yeah, and then he, like, took a limited yoga drop. So that's my story. Lovely. This podcast makes no fucking sense anymore. It never did, actually, on my side. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, I never make any sense, so you yeah. really shouldn't have asked me to do this. You knew this was going to make no sense. Yeah. Like, even look at this picture I drew for um my mom for Mother's Day. Oh, God. Do you want to see this? I just sent it to you. <laughs> well, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I know. I know. Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to find more stuff that I have that's, like, really, really random. Oh, um, this is pretty random. Right, yeah, okay. That, 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 that's going in the fucking thing. I'm putting that in the podcast. Yeah, I don't care, to be honest. Can I put that in? Yeah, of course, yeah. Alright, I think I took a screenshot. I'll try again. Just to make sure. I'm trying to just find, like, other things. I can't find that hmm. picture of me and Legolas of what our child looks like. I'll just send you the picture of, When um, your volume's gone down. Okay, you're, never mind, you're fine. Let me see. Is that it? Louder. That might be... Yes, here it is. Me, Legolas, and a child. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'll put that in the podcast as well. Go on. And guess what the child's called? Go on. Land, Lewis. So, Lego Land. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey. Ha. That's funny. It, I'm laughing at my own jokes again. See, she's proven it. <laughs> I think that's a perfect ending for this podcast. This is a good podcast. No, it's not. <laughs>